Welcome class 5. In this video, we will discuss exercise 8a of precise mathematics. The first sum. From the numbers given below, mark the numbers which are divisible and also those which are not divisible by the numbers given on the left column. Means, in horizontal direction there are some numbers and in vertical direction also there are some numbers. I have to check that this number 99 is divisible by 3 or not. If it is divisible by 3 then we have to put a tick mark here and if it is not then we have to put a cross mark here. Okay. In this manner I fill this table with ticks and cross. You can see this table by pausing the video. Now the next sum. Sum number 2. What is the smallest number which should be subtracted from and added to? This means we have to find two smallest number. If we subtract one smallest number from this number then the resultant number is divisible by this number and if we add the second smallest number to this number then the resultant number is divisible by this number and so on. So our first sum 3646 to get a number divisible by 3. To do this sum, first we have to remember the divisibility rule of 3. What is the divisibility rule of 3? If the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, then the number is divisible by 3. Means if the sum of its digit is divisible by 3, then the number is divisible by 3. Now, our given number is 3646. Sum of the digits is 3 plus 6 plus 4 plus 6 equal to 19, which is not divisible by 3. But, if we subtract 1 from 19, it will be 18 which is divisible by 3. Therefore, the smallest number to be subtracted is 1. Okay. So, we get the first smallest number which should be subtracted. Now, the second one. Now, again, if we add 2 with 19, then we will get 21. Which is again divisible by 3. Therefore, the smallest number to be added is 2. So, we will get the second smallest number that should be added. Now, we can write here 1 in the subtract column and 2 in the add column. Okay. Now, the next sum. 12,642 to get a number divisible by 4. To do this sum, first we have to recall the divisibility rule of 4. What is the divisibility rule of 4? If number formed by last two digits is divisible by 4 or if last two digits are both zeros, then the number is divisible by 4. So, if we consider last two digits of any number and it is divisible by 4, then the whole number is divisible by 4. Again, if the last two digits are 0, then the whole number also divisible by 4. Now, our number is 12,642. The last two digit is 42 which is not divisible by 4 but if we subtract 2 from 42 it 
it will be 40 which is divisible by 4. So the smallest number to be subtracted is 2. So we get our first smallest number. Now the second one. Now again if we add 2 with 42 we will get 44 which is again divisible by 4. So our second smallest number to be added is 2. So we get the two smallest number. One that should be subtracted and other one that should be added. So we can write here. So we can write here 2 in the subtract column and again 2 in the add column. Now the next sum. 5213 to get a number divisible by 5. What we have to do? We have to recall the divisibility rule of 5. What does this rule say? If the last digit is either 0 or 5, then the number is divisible by 5. So, if we consider any number whose last digit is 0 or 5, then the number is divisible by 5. Now our given number is 5213. Here we get 3 in unit place which is not divisible by 5. So we have to subtract this 3 from the given number. Then the unit place number will be 0. If we subtract 3 from here then this unit plus will be 0. Okay. So, the number 5213 minus 3 equal to 5210 which is divisible by 5 as there is a 0 in unit plus. Therefore, our smallest number to be subtracted is 3. We get our first smallest number. Now again, if we add 2 with 5213, then it will be 5215. This one, which is again divisible by 5, as 5 is in the unit plus. So, the smallest number to be added is 2. Okay. So, our second smallest number is 2. Now, we can write 3 in the subtract column and 2 in the add column. Now, the next sum 7427 to get the number divisible by 6. First, we recall our divisibility rule for 6. The rule says if the number is divisible by 2 and 3 then it is divisible by 6. The given number is 7427. It is an odd number which is not divisible by 2. So first we have to find an even number. What should we do? So, to get an even number, first we have to subtract 5 from the number. If we subtract 5 from this number, the resulting number is divisible by 2 as well as 3. So, it will also divisible by 6. Therefore, our smallest number which is to be subtracted is 5. Now we have to find the smallest number to be added. Again, if we add 1 with 7427, then the resultant number is also divisible by both 2 and 3. So it will be divisible by 6. Therefore, the smallest number to be added is 1. So we can write 5 in the subtract column 
and 1 in the add column. Now the next sum. 9466 to get a number divisible by 9. First we remember the divisibility rule of 9. If the sum of the digits is divisible by 9, then the number is divisible by 9. So, our number is 9466. Sum of the digits 9 plus 4 plus 6 plus 6 equal to 25 which is not divisible by 9. But if we subtract 7 from 25 then the number will be 18 which is divisible by 9. So number is divisible by 9. So our smallest number that should be subtracted is 7. Now again if we add 2 with the sum of the digits then it will be 27. Okay. 25 plus 2 27 which is also divisible by 9. Therefore the smallest number to be added is 2. So our second number that should be added is 2. So we write here 7 in the subtract column and 2 in the add column. Next, our next sum is 26303 to get a number divisible by 11. First, we have to recall the divisibility rule of 11. If the difference between the sums of the digits in the odd place and in the even places plus is either 0 or divisible by 11 then the number is divisible by 11. This means first we have to consider a number then we have to add the odd plus digits. After that we have to add the even plus digits and lastly we have to find the difference between this odd plus sum and even plus sum. If the difference is 0 then the number is divisible by 11 and also if the resultant or difference is divisible by 11 then the number is also divisible by 11. So the given number is 26303. Sum of the odd plus digits 2 plus 3 plus 3 that is 8 and sum of the even plus digits is 6 plus 0 is equal to 6. The difference is 8 minus 6 is equal to 2 which is not divisible by 11 or not 0. So the number 26303 is not divisible by 11. But if we subtract 2 from 26303, then the sum of odd plus digits is 6. How can it be possible? We subtract 2 from here. So here we get 1. So the odd plus sum is 2 plus 3 plus 1, that is 6. And the difference between the sum of the odd plus digit and sum of the even plus digit is 6 minus 6, 0. That is this 6 and this 6. Okay. Then therefore we get the difference 0. Okay. So according to the rule the resultant number is divisible by 11. So our smallest number that should be subtracted is 2. Similarly, if we add 9 to the number, then the number will be 26,312. Now, we calculate the odd plus sum. Odd plus sum is, is 2 plus 3 plus 2 equal to 7. And the even plus sum is 6 plus 1 equal to 7. So, the difference is 7 minus 7, 0. Again, we get 0 as the result of difference. 
So, we can say that 26,312 is divisible by 11. So, the smallest number to be added is 9. Therefore, we can write 2 in the subtract column and 9 in the add column. That is all in this video. In the next video, we will continue from sum number 3. Bye.